on guys, it's your boy James here, Beards and Cars. So, today, I just want to touch on a topic. It's going to be a little bit more about me and letting you guys get to know me. A little bit more, something I've never really talked about. Um, but I know there's other people out there also, so... This, this one ain't going to be beers. It's not really going to be about my cars or anything like that. Although I might get in there somewhere. I might talk about it here and there or whatever. But anyways, when I was 19 years old, I started having really bad anxiety attacks. Uh, these got to where they were uncontrollable. So... What happened is my doctors put me on this medicine, and uh, I took that for a while. Actually, I'm still taking it to this day. So I was 19 then, 38 now. But I've suffered with severe anxiety, severe anxiety attacks. And uh, that is a really hard thing to live with. So if anybody out there is dealing with something like that, this this is for you guys. This this is I want to talk to you guys about this. So it took me four years, almost five, to get back on my feet, so I could actually cope with it and understand what was going on. And uh, even then, I was still having trouble. But what it took was for me to actually get up motivate myself to get out and do better and that's the hardest thing to do when you have severe anxiety or depression or anything like that um but anyway so years later and i still deal with this on a daily basis it's it's really hard it's uh it's it's super hard to overcome and it's really hard to work you know go about your day-to-day activities it uh destroys your life it destroys uh, you know your 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 better half, your loved one. They don't understand, especially if they don't deal with it. And those of you that don't have it, y'all ain't gonna know what I'm talking about. But it will destroy your life, and if you let it, it will destroy you. So throughout my whole journey, I lived a rough life, and then I started having these severe anxiety attacks to where almost I didn't want to come out of the house. And uh, it took me to manning up one day and getting up and fighting this. Um, But never ever would I have ever thought that I'd be raising a son on my own. You know, it was hard enough to take care of myself during this time. I never thought that I'd be raising a son on my own. And uh, that little boy that y'all see in my videos here and there, me cutting my hair, I raised that boy on my own, all by myself. Nobody helps, just me and him. And we're like best friends and we make it happen. But it's rough. Like I said, it's rough on just me as a person dealing with this with this anxiety. But I'm here to tell you guys this because uh, I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me or anything like that. I just, I wanna, I'm hoping I can touch somebody else here. So, with that being said, as I had a rough journey, now my son's with me. I raise him on a full-time basis. As already, you know, this journey was hard enough on my own. So, um, you know, I look out for myself. I look out for my son. I try to do the best I can. And uh, for those of you that uh, feel like you can't make it or can't can't pull off another day, you keep going. You got fight in you. Don't, don't give up. Just keep going. You got fight in you. If I can do it, you can do it. And on top of me doing it, like I said, I got a little boy I'm dragging through with me. And uh, you can't show you can't show anybody that downside of you, and uh, especially not your kids. You know, you got to fight through that. So, with that being said, uh, some of the things that's helped me is just you know manning up and moving forward, getting out and being a little bit more motivated than I was the day before. Um, also. Uh, just getting out and you know maybe buying yourself something get out walk around go exercise anything you can to get your mind off of it get your mind way off 
Get your mind as far away from it as you can. Go buy yourself something. Do things that will make you happy. So with that being said, uh, when I was 19, when I was 20, 25, early 30, I would have never thought I would be where I am today. I'm not no rich person by any means. I'm not doing that good in my life. But I'm doing better than I thought I would be, guys. That's the point of this video. I'm doing way better than I thought I would be at this point. Never, ever, if I look back then, would I ever thought that I'd be where I'm at right this moment. I would never think that I'm raising a, I'd be raising a kid of my own. And I never thought that I would have what I have. And I don't have that much, but the stuff I have is because of me trying. It's because of me getting my ass out there and pushing harder than I did the day before. That is the reason that I got this car here. That's an 06 car, but it's it's still nice. You know, it's it, it's not it ain't nothing by any means, but that's a still that's still a, that's still a nice car. That's the reason I have that. That's the reason I'm able to pay my rent right here where I'm at right now. That's the reason I have this Mustang right here. There's a lot of money in this car, guys, and it's because I push my ass off to make that happen. That's the reason I have that. It's because I push my ass off to make those things happen, to try to make myself happier and better than I was the day before. I don't let don't let yourself drown in it. Don't let yourself drown in the sorrow, any kind of depression or any kind of anxiety. Get your ass out there and fight it. Do better than what you did the day before, the day before that, the month before that, and the year before that, and keep trying. If I can do it, anybody can do it. That's what I'm getting at, guys. If I can fight through it, anybody can fight through it. I've had the worst battles in my life with anxiety. I've been to the damn hospital probably 150 times in the past so many years because of this problem. I've lost relationships because of this problem. But at the end of the day, I've got all the shit I own. And I've got my little son, my little boy that's upstairs right now. And I fight. And I had that shit along with this shit because I fight. So with that being said, guys, if I can do it, you can do it. I just want to share that with you. If you guys are in this situation, please like, comment, and subscribe. Say something down below. Let me know what's up. I'm just curious if anybody else out there, I know there's other people, but maybe anybody watching my channel has this problem. Please, let's get, to, let's get on this chat and let's get together, man. I'd like to keep your spirits up. You can keep mine up. See you guys in the next one. Thanks.